Centaur steering has been enabled. And Centaur PU has been commanded to fixed angles for the early portion of this 7 minute and 41 second burn. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 5 minutes, 11 seconds into the MUOS-1 mission. We've just heard Marty Malinowski report the successful execution of events comprising the early part of today's mission, and all systems continue to operate normally. The mission is currently in the first of three Centaur engine burns. Our next event, the Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately seven minutes. Current altitude is 148 miles, downrange distance 1,497 miles, velocity is 15,675 miles per hour. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 9 minutes 20 seconds into the MUOS-1 mission, and all systems continue to operate as expected. The mission is currently in the first of three Centaur upper stage engine burns. Our next event, the first Centaur main engine cutoff, or MECO-1, is scheduled to take place approximately three minutes from now. It's worth mentioning that today's mission is the 200th Centaur flight. Development of Centaur, the world's first high-energy upper stage, began in 1958. Utilizing liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, Centaur debuted in 1962 and enabled critical missions that paved the way for the Apollo moon landings. 
Named after the half-human, half-horse creature of Greek mythology, Centaur remains a workhorse of the launch industry. Now let's go back to Marty Malinowski for the call. And we have about two minutes remaining in this first burn, and all systems continue to operate nominally. Centaur is currently flying at 143 miles in altitude. Downrange position is 1,900 miles. Velocity 16,567 miles per hour. We're a little under one minute to Miko. Centaur continues to burn off excess oxidizer. Tank pressures are stable, bottle pressures look good. Bus and battery voltages are as expected. At this point in the burn, Centaur should be orbital. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling. CRDs have been safe. 